At AgriCrete LLC, we grow industrial hemp. Industrial hemp is defined as 0.3% or less THC containing hemp. It starts out with the soil, black gold in Texas. This is where we're very, very blessed to have fertile soil. We put the seeds in the ground, that's the second step. These are the 0.3% or less THC containing seeds for industrial hemp. And we sow those seeds and within 100 days, the plant grows and it produces a stalk that has an outer sheath that's called bast or fiber. And that is the majority of what hemp is grown for is for the fiber. It also has a woody core that is the herd. This is what we use and we further break down for making hempcrete products, animal bedding, and in micronized form. The bast fiber is broken down finer and it is made into mineral wool. It is made into soil saver blankets. And then on the herd level, it is micronized and it is used in the cosmetics industry, the pharmaceutics, it's injection molded into car dashboards, it's in the automotive industry. Um, we feel like there's a lot more applications for micronized herd. The last byproduct that we have when we're growing industrial hemp is more seed itself, the grain. This is our chicken feed that we use. We make protein powders, we extrude the oils out of the seeds and we get a virgin hemp seed oil and a refined hemp seed oil that have very, very good healthy benefits. Uh, excellent omega-3, 6, and 9 properties. The primary use that we're trying to apply it in though is in hempcrete and in building applications. We're getting a lot of notice after the uh, wildfires in California. Um, hempcrete can be used for everything that's between stud to stud on your walls. This is part of the reason we're going out to Colorado to talk about this at Estes Park is because of the fire resistant nature of hempcrete. You can put the torch on it and you will see that it'll start to discolor, but it will not catch on fire. And once the ignition source is removed, it goes right out. Now if I turn this torch off, I can touch all around this block and it's not hot. On that spot right there, it's still hot, but that heat will very quickly dissipate. It still requires a structural framing. It is not concrete. It does not have the compressive strength of concrete, but it can be your interior wall insulation, your interior wall board, your exterior wall board, your air and vapor barrier, and with the plaster slake finish, your exterior coating. Hempcrete is breathable. It's pest resistant, mold resistant, mildew resistant, and fire resistant.